Yes, you are. I love that you always drop the Barney fucking credit. I know you from so many things, but that's like you always say Barney. Well, because everybody, you know, you make a bunch of films. It's cool. You make a bunch of films that people have seen, uh, like you. Uh, uh, oh, stop it. Like, the Flintstones is weird because there's the first one with John Goodman and Rick, Mar- Rick Moranis. Yeah. Then there was a prequel with, with me and the rest of the gang. You were in the second one. I was in the second one, which was a prequel. And your wife was? Uh, uh, the chick from Third Rock from the Sun. The blonde-haired chick. The big, tall redhead. Yeah. The big, oh, no. Yeah, the doll, do- Yeah. I know her. I did a movie with her. But my brain is fried. Yeah, well. She's really funny. She's brilliant. And Jane Krakowski was my Betty. You know who Jane Krakowski was? Yeah. She was on the uh, Tina Fey, um, 30 Rock. Correct. And the other girl was on Third Rock. Two it's, Rocks. Dude, it's a little melted. This dude, please so don't awesome. put that everywhere. Put the trash? No, the fucking chocolate. Well, no, like I... Oh, my God. I got to get you a napkin. <laughs> It's better without the napkin. No, I got, I got to get you a fucking napkin, bro. Bro, you're going to fucking... I'm scaring Bro. Wait, what's the girl from Third Rock from the Sun? She's just, amazing. I did a movie with her. I did a, a, a comedy porn. It wasn't a porn, but it was like about porn. <laughs> Dude, I think <coughs> our levels of crazy match... You are a little. Uh, you might be a little crazier. Yeah, I probably have done crazier stuff than you. Will you pull that mic down so we can see your mouth? I um. Pull oh, you want to see me? Eat? I, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. This you is d- so good. You don't want me? No. The dude rolls up. Just look about the movies. This is awesome. The dude. I know. I'm trying to make it like a cool man cave. The dude rolls up in mom's taxi, and fucking goes, "Hey, man, you're like this is the best popcorn on the planet." Where is it? It's in the kitchen, and I thought it was like, oh, he's giving me, like, a gift. And I open it up. It's a half-eaten bag of popcorn, like, truffle. It looked good, but it's a half-eaten bag of fucking popcorn. You're like my sister Mary, dude. You're you're a re-gifter. You didn't even finish the shit. And I'm like, he's like, oh, yeah, I was eating it on the way. (laughs) It was just one of those moments, bro, where you... You know where I got it, which is even worse? Where? Marshalls. <laughs> Marshalls with all the sketchy stuff everywhere. Bro, you love... This is Marshalls. You love this Marshalls. Like $4. You love Marshalls. I you have it. a bunch of Marshall bags in your car. I do. Why do you love Marshalls so much? Where is the Marshalls at around here? Oh, they're so good, dude. You sure? I don't want... I'm in a, I'm in a healthy... I'm eating better now. This is chocolate. I know. It's gonna kick in in like ten minutes. Bro. This dude's got Marshalls. He went like get you got everything in Marshalls. Oh, stop! You can put it there. I got your coffee coming. You gotta wipe your hands. Just put it right there on the on the shelf. I gotta eat more. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you so no, it's melted, dude. It's like it's bro. Like, this is crackhead heaven right here. Huh? What is wrong with you? Oh, Why sorry. are you so much in that popcorn? Because it's chocolate, dude. But you never had chocolate before? Before a Jamie Kennedy interview, you don't just show up and be like, hey, man, I had, you know, I had a matcha tea. No. What's no. wrong? No. Dude, you got to wipe your hands. Do you want me to get you? I'm going to get you wiped. Let me put this back in the box. <laughs> Listen. Let me tell you how big I was in the 90s. You listening over here? Jamie Kennedy's going to get me a fucking wipe. Okay? <laughs> that's, 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 how, that's how big I was in the 90s over there. Forget about it. I made it nice. You're a pal. You're an angel. Oh, that's nice. I don't understand the clutter. Oh, wow. Is that my coffee? Oh. I had to get you because you're going back to New York. So I was, you were like, uh, no, get I'm me going now. To London. I got to go to London. You're going to London, but you're like, get me now because I have to go 
I know you're going to be hard to get. Well, I'm coming back to L.A. for... Use the wipes. I did. I did already. I did. No, there was two. Oh, I used both. Yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm cool, bro. Are you sure? I think so. Unless I go back to the chocolatey popcorn. Don't do it. How often do you go to Marshall's? Twice a month. Now ask me how often I go to Walmart. How often do you go to Walmart? Oh. Every day. No. Every day. No. Oh, it's the best. What? Where? It's the people, dude. It's the people. People of Walmart's an account. You know people, that? People what? People of Walmart. Is it what? An account. What does that mean? It's an Instagram account. <laughs> and there's a lot of interesting people at Walmart. It's called People of Walmart. I can't believe you got to, It's on Bro, Instagram? The, the, the underwear is not worn much. At People of Walmart. Yeah, it's an account. Oh, I'm so joining. They don't wear underwear. A lot of them scoot, too. They're on scooters. They're big. They're big kids. A lot of big... A lot of big the, do you know what... Do you know what a biggin is? Where did the underwear part come in? Well, they're usually reaching over to grab like a can of beans, and you see that crack, and you see it's Half Moon Bay. Okay. You're and make a very valid point. And there's some big ones. My friend does a lot of comedy on boats, and he goes, sometimes <laughs> at the buffet, after you do a show, just slim pickings. So he goes, the only thing you got are some biggins. You know what a biggin is? He clocked 270, 285. You know what I'm saying? That's a biggin. That's a biggin. That's late night biggin. Now I did another movie called Eight Seconds. Okay, I remember that was the bull riding movie. That was the bull riding movie with Kiefer. And even even the bull riders know what a biggin is, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So this is the term you know. Oh, I'm I'm aware. You're aware of a biggin. I'm a. Well, in the movie, right? Yeah. You play these bull riders, and now it's become much. Of, Bigger sport and it's very professional, and it's the PBR and all. It's very, very, you know, Pabst Blue, yeah, yeah, professional bull riders, PBR. Oh, I thought it was Pabst Blue. Right no, and um, uh, but back in the day, like when we were making that movie, yeah, I remember that movie. Um, I was hanging out with like real bull riders, and there was these gals they called buckle bunnies. <sighs> and these were the girls that just hung around the rodeo guys, just. Just to be there for support, so to speak. Dude, I love how you scared to say it, but you say it classy. Wait, dude, can I tell you? There's so many terms for these. Buckle bunnies is a good one. I've never heard that. That's oh, it's so yeah. good. Buckle bunny. So they, after the guy rides the bull. Well, no, it's more like at the bar later, the end of the night, towards, you know, when couple, everybody's going to get a drink. A couple of buckle bunnies. Yeah, well, not a couple. It just depends on where you are. But there could be a hundred of them. A hundred buckle bunnies. hundred buckle bunnies. What city was that? Uh, that'd be like, you know, Plano, Texas, places like that. And they hang around. They want to get with a cowboy. No, Same. no, no, no. no. They, 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 they've already been to the rodeo several days every day before. Yeah. And, you know, they just, they just support the, the fellas is what they do. They're just, they're just you, there to support the fellas. Do you know... Um, what rock stars have that's called? Uh, groupies, right? Buckle bunnies are uh, groupies. Unequivoc unequivocally, you know, rodeo groupies. Do you know what NASCAR's version of that is called? No, what? You don't know? No. Pit lizards. I never heard that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I taught you buckle bunnies and yeah. you taught me pit lizards. Do you know a truck um, stop? I heard this one. Lot lizards. <laughs> but lizard again. A lizard again. Yeah. Or stop suckers. That's pretty clear. Yeah. Then you know what they are for actors. Ex extras holding. <laughs> You're terrible. Too far? No, but I just think we should start something called Hollywood lizards. <laughs> Everything's a lizard. Wait, there's right? more. No. Um, do that you know would be the, cool. Do you know, because you're an athletic, the Cactus League and the Grapefruit League, when baseball, do you know what that is? Yeah, yeah. The ones in out in Lake Phoenix and stuff, when they have spring training, they're called... Uh, spring lizards? <laughs> <laughs> that 
kind of they're called like because the cactus is a prickle, so it's like prickle prickle princesses. Oh wow! I know there's 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 terms for every type like of like a prickly pear cacti. Yes, there's yeah. a there's there's li- lines for every type of uh, of fan. Can I say that word? Yeah, sure. There's dude, that's good water. Drink it, dude. I paid oh. good money for that. Okay. <laughs> I only drink just water now. Sure, yeah. I get to drink it all. Where'd you get that? Marshalls. But when you were over visiting me, I gave you one of those. Did you know that? You did. And then after that now, you started drinking it. I did. See? It's the only water that doesn't have anything in it, they say. Well, it's a glass bottle. Yeah, it's a glass. I'm all, dude, I'm getting rid of all my plastic. 